Hey, welcome back to Cantley Fizz Ed. Today I wanna to share with you a couple of things that you can do outside to help your kids. One is going to be to help them calm down and focus if they're getting overworked and stressed, which is gonna be super important when you're doing homeschooling as an opportunity for your kids to relax and be able to refocus when you want them to get back to work. The second is going to actually be to burn some energy when your kids are kind of bouncing off the wall going all cuckoo. Um, you wanna get them outside and give them something easy and fun to do that will burn some quick energy. So first we're gonna start with our calming method. So here we have an infinity sign. And it's just a giant infinity sign that I put on the sidewalk with some chalk. And studies have shown if you can have your have your child kind of walk the infinity sign several times, it's gonna slowly help them to calm down and refocus um, and just kind of mellow them out if they're stressed out. So a great, simple, easy thing to, to throw out on your sidewalk or um, in your driveway. So helps your child calm down there. <clears throat> Next is a good quick energy burner. So we've done this at our school, um, Blessed Sacrament here in Charleston. So we've painted these on the ground so the kids get to use it at any point in time. So we start off with jumping. So kids jump over the line and when they jump, they keep their feet together. So they take off and land on both feet. Next we are tiptoeing. So on the balls and toes of our feet. Next is just a nice tightrope walking line. It kind of wiggles back and forth. Next we have hopping. Hopping is on one foot. That's why our paw prints are in one single line because when you hop, you're only on one foot. We're gonna walk the tightrope again. We're gonna come over this way and then we're going to skip. So we take a step and then we hop on that foot that we stepped and then we switch out and hop on the other foot or skip on the other foot. And then we have a turning tightrope. So we added some loops into this one to make it a little bit more crazy and goes all over the place. And then our final one here is side jumps. So we're gonna jump from leaf to leaf to leaf, crossing the stem of the flower. And then they can jump or hop along each one of the petals of the flower. So that's a nice little easy sensory pathway to keep your child active, burn some quick energy, keeps them focused, keeps them practicing their locomotor skills as well. So hopefully these tips are helpful. Enjoy. Go ahead, create it. Would love to see what you create at your home. You can make it anything you want, anything that's going to entertain your child. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. And as always, peace out.